guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. I have my owl crate. <laughs> this is the January 2020 owl crate. And, yeah. I'm super excited because it's got a mug in it. So, if you don't know what owl crate is, it is a monthly YA subscription service on YA books. And it comes with four to six bookish goodies a month. Uh, I think the cost is $29.99 a month. Uh, I pay $34.99. And if you are a homeschool teacher or a librarian, you can send in your credentials to the Alcrate support staff and they will give you a 10% discount for every box for the duration of your subscription. However long you want it, you'll get 10% off. So, yeah. I am super excited and I think this one's going to be a good one. Uh, I haven't posted my video yet for my most anticipated 2020 releases, but I follow this person called this Instagram account called Book Alley, and she does book box guesses every month and post uh, her guesses, and they are almost always right. So if she's right on this month, which I think she is, then one this book is one of my most anticipated releases for the year. So, I'm just going to quit talking and we're going to open it. And if the light goes bad, it, the sun's setting. So, I'm going to try to hurry up. So, let's open it. And plus, I'm running out of space. That was one of my resolutions this year to not have space run out on my phone. And that's already broken. So, along with every other one I made. So, ooh. Hmm. So, I got this... Mulan looking uh, postcard or the spoiler card with the Mulan art. I'm so excited to see the live action version. And I'm not even mad that we didn't see Mushu or the cricket. So, yeah. And it's got the spoilers on the back with these cool daggers. And the theme for January is Vengeance Will Be Mine. So. Let's just pull out the mug. I just want to see the mug. It is part of the Harry Potter series that Alcrate is doing with Kara Kozik. And I think this one is based around uh, Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix. So, I'm hoping it's not pink. So, da -da -da. Oh, it's not pink. Okay. So. It's got a... Uh, Sirius's house, and it's got, it's got Dolores Umbridge in a pink, oh, it's got pink on it, it's got her office at Hogwarts, it's got the Thestrals with Harry and Luna riding over the Forbidden Forest, oh, it's got the, uh, Department of Minis Mysteries with all the prophecies. And the Death Eaters, and then this thing where something we don't mention happens. Oh, I love it. I'm so, I thought it was going to be like all pink, but I'm fine with this little bit of pink. So, this is cute. I'm so excited. And I'm going to be buying the, uh, the Night Bus and Hagrid's Hut. I may have to turn on the light. But anyways, let's just hurry it up, so... We got some socks, Crooked Kingdom. I have not read that series yet, but I do have uh, the Grisha trilogy, the Shadow and Bone, I think it's called, um, the book, the box set. So I will be reading that this year. But uh, they're cool, and they're from out of print. Grisha verse, Crooked Kingdom, unisex, small. Ah, uh, I don't know why I'm doing that because the Deathly Hallow socks were unisex small and they fit they're a little tight on the legs and they fit my feet so and they have Crooked Kingdom I'm not going to take them off the packaging yet so I like that um let's see we got a little scrolly or a pin banner and it is Mirkwood I have no idea what this is from but I'm going to be using it as a pin banner on the edges. So, 
it's similar to um what came in the Alcrate Jr. That video will be up way before this one. Um, the Neverland map. So I need to see what this is from because I have no idea. And y'all are probably screaming at me. Okay, I had to turn on the light. It got cloudy. So the pen banner is from. It's based on The Hobbit. I have not read The Hobbit. I've read probably a quarter of The Lord of the Rings when I was a kid and I gave up on it. I just was not into the series. I'm going to try to read it sometime this year or start and I'm going to get my kids to watch the movies and yeah because I was running out of space on my old pen banner so I will put a picture of it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, go do that. I post a lot of my kids with books. So, yeah, this is The Hobbit. They're still doing the enamel pins. So, this is from Forensics and Flowers. Huh. And let me take it out of the plastic. It is... Bone to bone, blood to blood, name to name. And it's got a deck of cards and daggers and... Ooh! You've got words in your soul. Huh. Let's see what it is. Huh! It's a little... thing with a pocket mirror. That's cute. I don't know what I want to put in there, though. So, yes, I like that. And then the can or the mirror is from this exclusive pocket mirror with secret storage. Storage would rather would be a rather useful tool for any acolyte of the Red Church, especially in the Hall of Truths, inspired by Nevernight and designed just for you by the Team Alcrate. I can read. I promise. <laughs> Um, that's cool. And then the candle is Seer, and it is inspired by Children of Blood and Bone. I loved Children of Blood and Bone. And they were handmade by a quart of candles, and they sent out an assortment of five different candles. Which one did you receive? So... They're all different, so this one is a gray, so let's see what it smells like. Oh, and it's got glitter in it. They're doing the glitter thing. Ooh. Dragon Fruit Tropical Rainforest. They must, they must know me because I love tropical scents, and this is just, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So, hopefully, Alcrate will put the other candles on their past shop and I will buy the hell out of them uh, along with a couple more of these because this 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 smells good and now for the book it is Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim this is an Alcrate exclusive cover and it comes with a letter I don't know how I'm feeling about this cover because I like the original cover and I don't like people on my books but I like that cover. So here's the original cover. And here's the Alcrate. I like this one more than this one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Alcrate. I haven't liked the past few exclusives. I did like Winterwood, but I didn't like the Guinevere Deception, and this one's cool. I like the uh, outline of the buildings at the bottom. Um, it's just, it looks like a arc cover, if you know what I mean. This looks perfect, but this looks like an arc, and it's not. So, uh, so let's, it's signed by the author and let's undress it to see if there's any 
Nope. It's just got a beautiful spine. Revenge. It was a simple word when spoken out loud, but it was so much bigger, like the hidden city under the atoll. It was a word of fire and blood, of a nice whisper in the priming of a pistol. They would all pay. I'm excited, but this cover. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Here's the magazine. And it's got an interview with the author, Tara Sim. It's got the uh, different covers. They were inspired by the embroidery on the original cover. And the designers took that idea and ran with it. Yeah, so this... The top, this, is from her clothing, huh? I still like this cover better. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I like the original. It comes with a word search. It comes with, have an interview with the vendor in the reads. It's got the photo challenge, and it's got a playlist called Life is a Storm. Set sail for revenge with this playlist inspired by the Count of Monte Cristo. And other releases we're excited about this month. The Night Country, Dark and Deepest Red, Infinity Sun, Lucky Collar, and Woven in Midnight. I have Lucky Collar and Woven in Midnight on my TBR shelf. And yeah. The theme for next month is A Power Within. I've already been spoiled for the book. And I'm hoping that that cover does not suck. If so, then I'm going to start uh, trading dust jackets for <laughs> originals. I know, I'm weird, but... Every February box will include a deck of playing cards inspired by Throne of Glass. Okay. The universe is just messing with me now because last March I could not find a deck of playing cards in any store to save my life. And now I have three decks, three different decks of playing cards and then I'm getting a fourth. <laughs> that is it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my favorite thing is the mug. <sighs> yes. Karakosic mugs are just awesome. And I think she just had her baby, which is awesome. And, yeah, so I'm glad for her. <sighs> Motherhood. It's a ride. Um, my least favorite thing has to be the pocket mirror. Because I don't know what I'm going to put in this thing. Plus, it's a bitch to open. I'm not, I don't know what I want to put in this. So, yeah. And then the Alcrate cover, out of 10, I give it a 5. It's beautiful, but I like the original better. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Did you get this box? What is your favorite? Uh, what should I do? Should I keep subscribing to Alcrate? Because uh, the books I'm excited for... The covers are beautiful, and the books I'm not interested in, they have beautiful covers. Did that make sense? I don't know. I'll check after editing. But, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.